you guys good morning from beautiful calgary alberta canada we got here yesterday i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all of the clips of everything that we have done so far we're actually staying in downtown um, just for one night so we're actually leaving today and we're heading to banff so it's gonna be a really fun vlog i'm excited to show you guys all the fun things that we're doing today and over the next couple of days but i'll go ahead and show you everything that we did yesterday and then we will catch up to where we are now When we arrived in Calgary, we immediately made our way downtown to our hotel. Our hotel was right downtown. We freshened up real fast and then we headed out to explore the city. Now we were amazed at all of the modern art that we saw everywhere. A lot of it was commissioned for the Olympics when they had them there, but we really enjoyed it. Like this one, the Wonderland sculpture was one that I had read about online and I was really excited to see. It is a young woman's head and you can actually walk completely through it like Megan does right here. And then at night they actually light it up. So it looks really cool at night and was one that I was just really excited to see for some reason, um, just because I think I had read about it. And then we made our way over to the Chinatown area of Calgary. Now, we were excited to see this. This is kind of like a strip mall is where their Chinatown really was located, but they had lots of different stores in there. They had different boutiques, they had restaurants, they had salons, and of course they had these fun little convenience stores that we were able to check out and then we headed over to calgary tower now calgary tower when it was first built a long time ago was originally the tallest tower in canada it has since been surpassed by many skyscrapers but we got tickets to go around the observatory and we had a 360 degree view of the city it was so neat we really did enjoy this they had little um, points showing what all the different buildings were there was different areas that show where the olympics were in certain buildings and then they also had this area that was a glass like walk out so you could walk out over it and it was scaring all of us like i my legs felt so ugh, i just couldn't explain it. i didn't like it but it was really cool then we took the elevator down one floor to the sky 360 restaurant and i would definitely recommend doing this it was really cool it's actually on a rotating floor so the floor does spin it takes about an hour to go around one full rotation so it's not going super fast but we thought this was so cool being able to see the city and the food was absolutely delicious probably some of the best food we ate the entire time we were there so i would say it's definitely worth it no matter how i feel The next morning, we got up, grabbed breakfast real fast at our hotel, and then me and Brent went exploring around our area. We found this bookstore called Shelf Life Books, which I was so into. I absolutely love bookstores, so being able to spend some time in here just browsing and taking in the local, you know, the local vibes, I guess, was a lot of fun for me. It's a, it's over, totally in my element here. I just love bookstores so much. Okay, so we are here walking on the river walk here in Calgary. It's super pretty. And we're actually nearing Chinatown, the, their version of Chinatown. And it's just been really cool so far just to kind of see, there's a lot of culture here that you wouldn't really expect to see. So it's been a lot of fun. And even though everything, you know, is very much like the United States, it's still a lot of fun to be here. and experience new things and things that you don't get to necessarily do in Utah. We spent the good chunk of our afternoon walking around the river walk. We actually only did maybe about a mile of it. There's, it's quite long, so you can walk, bike, run, whatever you want on this. You can feed the geese. You can take parts of the different parks that you walk around. So we really did enjoy that. And then we ended up getting over to a different part of Calgary to get some poutine. Now, poutine is a classic Canadian treat. They don't have that really in the United States. And so we went to Patina Rama. Definitely recommend. We heard that it was the best in Calgary since the poutine in Calgary is 
probably not the best that the Canada has to offer. This one was probably the best that we could absolutely find and it was delicious. So shout out to them. They were great. And then we went to the Calgary Public Library. Now this was something that I wanted to do. I heard that the architecture and the design here was beautiful and it definitely did not disappoint us at all. It was absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> One neat part about this library is that they have these different stations for you to be really interactive in. So they had one like this one where we had to write notes to different people like our neighbors, our coworkers, teachers, and we just put them there. They never get delivered. And then they had this station about social media and one of the challenges was to take a video, but you have to pose for a selfie for 10 seconds. And it was quite hard. As you can see, we kind of, at least I started laughing and giggling and we couldn't all get the right counting down. So it was a little hard, but it was a lot of fun. And just walking on this library for about half an hour was a lot of fun for me, at least to be able to take part of the architecture. And again, I just love books. So it was great. Our next stop was Tim Hortons. This is also a classic Canadian store. We got some Timbits because we don't drink coffee or anything. We got some donuts and it was okay. Honestly, we weren't in love with it, but we had to do it because that's Canada. And then we made our way over to the Calgary, Alberta temple for our church. We just walked around that for a minute and then we made our way over to Banff National Park. And let me tell you, the drive was absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> gondola behind us can't really see it but it looks really cool The Banff gondola was one of our favorite activities. For me, it was my absolute favorite. And it is a little bit more pricey, so just kind of be aware of that. But we spent two or three hours up here and the view was gorgeous. The ride is about seven to eight minutes long. You can fit four people in a gondola. And once we got up to the top, they have this huge boardwalk that kind of goes across the entire mountain top over to Samson's Peak. And the they have two museums up there. They have restaurants. They have a little cafe to get hot chocolate. It was was quite enjoyable. We made it to the top. It's insane. So this is so beautiful. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm looking ahead, looking out for someone like you. One thing that we kept saying about this whole experience is that it felt like we were in a Hallmark movie with the views and the boardwalk, the snow, the hot cocoa, the trees covered in this beautiful snow. It was really enjoyable and a memory that I will definitely never forget. It was quite cold. So if you are up there in the wintertime, make sure you are nice and belted up. I did have gloves. I'm just not wearing them right now. Um, so I was okay, but it does get very cold up there. So just be prepared for that if you end up going there. Inside the observatory there at the top of the mountain, they have this really neat exhibit that has movie theaters, interactive parts, they have things for kids, things for adults. And we actually, I would say, maybe spent another 45 minutes to an hour just in this room. It was really cool to see all the different parts of it. And then we got really hungry, so we decided to head down the gondola to get to the bottom and we headed in to the town of Banff. 
and we got some recommendations from some of the people who were working at the gondola of where to go eat and they recommended going to rose and crown now that is a pub and so they offered some good pub food but we were really there because we had heard that they have live music and they had this fantastic band playing we sat there for probably another hour or so listening to them play and we had a really great time okay guys megan what was your favorite part of today my favorite part of today <laughs> is when chase did push-ups on top of the mountain that was pretty cool he uh he went to boston twice last month <laughs> to very nice chase who is chase what was your favorite part of today oh that's me yeah oh uh, man it was probably uh getting a poutine from uh mm -hmm. poutine and arama mm -hmm. from my homie jeff no john <laughs> jean jeff we're gonna chat a little bit about montreal that montreal life that i lived for dos años shout out ccm shout out president patrick <laughs> <laughs> shout out curtis beaumont carlos duran Oh my God. Shout out uh, Austin Murphy. That's great. Any other shout outs? Uh, For anyone. Megan, you too? I think the gondola was one of my favorite parts. That actually was legit. Oh, that was really cool. They have yeah, gondola the gondola was part of That was cool. What about you, Brittany? Probably the gondola was my favorite part. That was cool. Yeah. Hi, YouTube. It's just really pretty. <laughs> I love you. Chase. Subscribe to PewDiePie Brit and Brit watch Jalen do the us. Super Saiyan video. Oh my. All right. We're turning this off. <laughs> All right, guys. Day three. We're here in Banff National Park. We're going to go have some fun. For breakfast, we headed over to another recommendation, and this was Bluebird Restaurant. This place was so cute. It was a mix of like farm and rustic meets glam. It was absolutely an adorable, beautiful restaurant, and the food there was also amazing as well. They don't have a ton of options, but everything that we ordered, we absolutely devoured, and it was so, so, so good. So I would really recommend coming here if you are looking for a great breakfast spot. And then we made our way to Lake Louise, which was about 45 minutes away from the town of Banff. And it was totally frozen over, which made it so magical. We have made it to Lake Louise. It's totally frozen over, so we're able to walk on it. They actually let you ice skate on it as well, but they closed the ice skating down. Um, it is starting to melt a little bit on the edges. So yeah, it's very cool. I mean, look at this, it's just amazing. Definitely, there's this famous hotel right there. We could have stayed at for like $1,000 a night. Didn't want to do that, so we're just here to enjoy it. But man, that'd be sweet. Maybe one day. Goals. One day we'll stay there. I definitely want to come back in the summertime when it's like this lake is supposed to be so blue and so pretty. So I definitely want to come back. Like maybe a canoe or kayak across it. That'd be really cool. One day. Because I just want to see the light. We made it across the entire lake. You can tell because we're surrounded by trees now. And on a little horse trail, I believe it's like a horse book riding trail, to some frozen waterfalls. We find different ones that we don't have to climb up a mountain for. So we'll go try to see those. Well, we almost made it. Um, they're right here, but there is water we have to cross. So fortunately, I don't think we'll be heading over there, but it's cool. It's so cool. We 
We then started off on some little scenic drives. We went to the Bow Valley Parkway and we stopped and looked at a few different lakes. We wanted to go on a couple of hikes. Unfortunately, I was not feeling it. I was so tired. So we went on a small little hike on one of these. Just We just found one that was random. And I do feel bad because I kind of had everyone turn around because I got really hungry and I was just tired, but it was a lot of fun to kind of explore that. We headed then back to the town of Banff, went to this restaurant called Lupo for happy hour, which had half price food. And if you like to drink, they have half, half price drinks as well. And the view from the top is amazing. All of our food was absolutely delicious. And I would say that this carbonara pasta was probably some of the best pasta that I've ever had. And I went to Italy and ate a lot of food there. So that's saying something. We then went to Banff Ave, which is just the classic main street of Banff, and they have tons of shops. So we went ahead and did a little bit of shopping. We walked around to this cute little candy store. They had this Christmas store, which was so up our alley. It was so much fun. And then they also just have this beautiful view in the middle of the street of the, I think it's the Sulphur Mountain. I could be wrong, but this mountain is just right there. So we really did enjoy walking around the town, taking in the fun little shops and just spending time together. Okay, you guys, we are back today, finally, from a long and yet super fun day of exploring. We really just got to explore Banff a little bit more. We went to Lake Louise and we did like a little nature hike a little bit today and then went back into the downtown area of Banff and just got to like hang out on the street and go get some really good food. So overall, it's been a really fun day. We I think we walked like five or six miles today, which really isn't a ton, but considering that like most of that was actually on a frozen lake, it was really cool, but we are quite tired now. We're all just like super tired and like our feet hurt, everything hurts. So we were gonna go to the Banff Hot Springs tonight. We're gonna stay here instead and at our Airbnb and there's a hot tub here. So we'll just um, probably hot tub here tonight and then maybe go exploring a little bit tomorrow before we leave. But so far it's been so much fun and I just am so grateful to be here. It's been a lot of fun. All right, Brent, what's been your favorite part of today? My favorite part was going to Lake Louise. Why was it your favorite? It was my favorite because uh, we were out in nature with little to no bounds. And it was fun hiking and escalating the mountains to get to the frozen um, falls as well. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And life's about being in nature, not about being in mad made buildings. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what life's about. Mm -hmm. Words of wisdom from Brent. That's how God intended it to be. <laughs> okay, guys, it's our last day in Canada. We are getting ready to head back into the town of Banff just for a few hours. And then we'll head over back to Calgary to get to the airport. But this area is so cute. These were our Airbnbs we stayed at. We hot tubbed a little bit last night, which is awesome. And now we're just soaking up the last few moments. To end off our day, we headed back to Banff just for a little while. We did a little bit of some souvenir shopping. Saw this really cool like horse-drawn carriage ride that you can take. And then we went and got beaver tails, which again is a quintessential Canadian treat. It's like a giant scone. I got one. I got the Reese's one that had a peanut butter, chocolate, and the Reese's M&Ms on there. And it was so good. It was delicious. I could not stop talking about it. I loved it. So we really enjoyed getting that treat. Brent does not look amused in that photo, but I promise he liked it as well. And then we headed back over to Calgary where we were flying home and we had a four hour layover in Seattle, Washington, and we decided to risk it. We left the airport and drove over to Pike's Place where the famous uh, public market center is. They have a huge farmer's market there. Unfortunately, when we were there, everything was closed but it was still really fun to walk around it we can now say that we've been there and then we headed over to the pier which has this amazing ferris wheel we did not ride it but they had a fun lots of fun activities and shops
We then made our way over to Post Alley, which is where the famous gum wall is. And it was honestly kind of gross, but super cool. We did not, none of us had gum. It was so dumb. We were there. We could not put our gum on the wall. So that's kind of sad. We'll have to go back. And then we made our way back over to the airport. Again, there was a lot of really neat modern art. And then we flew home. We got in, it was so late, but we had such a great time in Canada.